and this dispels any excuse you may have to not be carrying unless it's a secure place with metal detectors. Hey everyone, I'm Brett and welcome to Nightwood Guns. Today we're looking at a firearm that is very nostalgic to me and I'll explain why, but it is the North American Arms Mini Revolver. This one in particular is their brand new model for 2024. It is a crossover between their Pug, which is their more tactical model, and their Sidewinder that has a swing out cylinder. Most of these have a removable cylinder where you actually have to take the whole cylinder out to unload it and reload it. And with the swing out cylinder, it's all self-contained and way more convenient for loading and reloading. So since North American Arms sent me their new offering to review on the channel, I figured I would also use this as an opportunity to explain why I like these little mini revolvers so much and why I think they ascend beyond just being a novelty or a conversation piece. I think that they're actually pretty practical under the right set of circumstances. So as per the usual, you're getting an honest take on this channel. It's very brave whenever a manufacturer sends me a firearm for review. It goes to show that they are very confident in their product because I do not hide that if anything goes wrong on my channel, I absolutely show it. So in today's video, I'm going to go over why I think it's important to have one of these mini revolvers in your collection or loadout. And of course, I will go over the pros, cons, and features of the new Sentinel from North American Arms. If you've enjoyed my videos in the past or if you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. That is a great free way to support the channel and give it a like, thumbs up if you're having a good time. And throughout the video, feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know how you feel about North American Arms revolvers. Let me know which one's your favorite if you have a few of them. Other than that, the links in the description below are the most up-to-date place to check out the new and exciting ways to support the channel further. I definitely appreciate my patrons over on Patreon. You guys help keep the lights on here at Nightwood guns. And one final thanks to Bear Arms Firearms in Scottsdale, Arizona for their support of the channel. Thanks for your patience. With that out of the way, let's hop into the video. So the first thing I want to address about the mini revolvers is they are just really fun guns to collect. They make a bunch of different models and they are so much fun at the range. Like I mentioned, they're great conversation starters. So with the undisputable fact that these are little bundles of joy out at the range and they are really fun little guns to collect and have in your collection, let's talk about the actual practical uses for these little mini revolvers revolvers and why it's so nostalgic for me. So growing up, my dad used to carry a North American Arms mini revolver as a backup gun. He would actually put it in a little eyeglass case and put it in the breast pocket of his shirt. And I was trained from a very young age how to treat firearms safely and responsibly and how to respect them for what they are. It's amazing how safe a household with children in it can be when you actually teach and train those children how to handle firearms and how to be safe around them. It is great great to set rules, expectations, and boundaries around firearms with your children so they aren't this unknown mystery that they want to investigate and they can end up getting hurt. Now that segues into my nostalgia for this pistol. My dad carried this as a backup firearm and on the occasion where he would have to run into the store to grab something, he'd leave me in the car locked with the air conditioning on. He would actually take out his little eyeglass case, hand it to me, and said, if anyone tries to snatch you, shoot them. Think what you will about that, but I certainly wasn't going to get human trafficked. <laughs> But this little mini revolver was my protector for several years, and because of that, I just really appreciate it for what it is. It is better than a sharp stick, and it leaves no excuse to go anywhere unarmed or without a backup firearm. So this new little revolver, the Sentinel, is chambered in 22 Magnum. They do also have offerings in 22 Long Rifle that are a little shorter, easier to hide in your pocket, but the 22 Magnum definitely packs a tiny little punch. Now, there are certain people out there that just cannot or will not carry a bigger firearm. And that even includes smaller pistols like an LCP. They just aren't willing to put this in their pocket or even something like the little Beretta Jet Fire. The hardest part about putting one of these in your pocket, if you have tight pockets or shorts pockets, is the grip because obviously it's magazine fed and that magazine needs to go somewhere and it's in the grip. The North American Arms Mini Revolver solves that problem because the grip is not an issue. So this is a super easy way to just slip a gun into your pocket and safely carry it without worrying about it going off in your pocket. Now, if you're unfamiliar with these revolvers, they're actually incredibly safe to carry because on the cylinder, obviously there is where it strikes the round and then in between each chamber is a little safety notch 
where you can stage the hammer into the notch so it's not resting on a live round, and then you can just cock it and fire safely. So that makes these completely drop safe and completely pocket proof. Sorry for the quick interruption, but this video would not exist without the help from today's sponsor, Aura. If you're the type of person who will purchase and carry a firearm to defend your life, then I'm going to encourage you to try out Aura to protect your livelihood. Hundreds of millions of people are being affected by data breaches every single day, and that's where Aura has your back with their identity theft protection. And I know times are tough right now, groceries and gas are really expensive, and that is my favorite thing about Aura. Right now they have a free trial that is 14 days, so you can see how great their service is, and when you decide to stick with it, their prices are shockingly affordable for everything they give you. I've been using Aura for several months now, and when I first signed up, I saw immediately that they opted me out of a staggering amount of data brokers who had access to my personal information. But after signing up for Aura, they helped scrub all of that and now they protect my identity and my information. That helps prevent hackers from guessing or getting a hold of my passwords so that they can't get into my bank accounts or any other sensitive information. As if their incredible identity theft protection wasn't enough, you also get access to a VPN and other features like antivirus all in one easy to use app. And that's another one of my favorite things about Aura is it's very simple and easy to manage. So you protect your life with a firearm, protect your livelihood with Aura's Identity Theft Protection. Sign up for their free 14-day trial now, and that will be at the link you are seeing down below, aura.com slash nightwoodguns. Now back to the video. Now an actual real-world example of someone carrying this and it actually being useful, and them not carrying a larger gun, actually happened, I believe it was during the Summer of Love. There were so many riots, it's kind of hard to keep track of them, but he felt that he was in imminent danger of severe bodily harm or death, and this is what he had on him and he just pulled it out and was ready to use it if he needed to. It is better than a sharp stick, it is better than pepper spray if you need to escalate to lethal force, and it's way better than having a knife. I did a video a while back about how many rounds do you need to carry for self-defense, and in there I looked at a study that showed the vast majority of defensive gun uses did not even involve discharging the firearm. Not even one shot. So just the presence of a firearm can keep you safe. And this dispels any excuse you may have to not be carrying unless it's a secure place with metal detectors, which this is also pretty easy to find a way around. And I do not condone anything like that, nor would I ever do it. So anywho, another great use for this is just having a backup gun on you like my dad used to do. You can have your everyday carry pistol, you know, carrying inside the waistband, ready to rock, and then have this as a backup. This is something that you could hand off to a family member if crap absolutely hits the fan. Maybe you need to separate from them for whatever reason, or you just want to make sure that you can stash them away with lethal force in their hands if they are unwilling or unable to carry. Again, this is something that is better than a sharp stick, and that's why I think it's valuable to at least have one of these in your collection if the need ever arises to use it. So as I mentioned earlier, this little guy is chambered in 22 Magnum, and it has the swing out cylinder like the Sidewinder, which is really convenient. That way it just keeps keeps everything together. So when you're at the range reloading this, you don't have to worry about misplacing your cylinder or dropping it because this is small stuff. This way it is connected to the revolver and you have a little ejector rod there to help you get the spent casings out. Overall, this is one of the more practical options they offer. The Pug was always one of their most popular and practical offerings. And now that they offer it with a swing out cylinder, this is one of my favorite mini revolvers that North American Arms is making now. And of course, you can stash this little thing in places where nobody would expect it to be stashed. This is what you want, right here. Shut up! Take a look. Shut Take a look. Up. You want some of this right here? Look at this, huh? How about some of this? Shut up! Some of this? Ah! Oh, yeah! Oh. Homophobes never check there. whereas that wouldn't quite be possible with other larger firearms, even the other pocket pistols. Now, while those are the practical uses that I enjoy these little mini revolvers for, there is no denying that these are absolutely a blast to run at the range, a great family-friendly little mini revolver. The ladies think it's cute, the kids think it's fun, and honestly, 
grown men get a smile on their face shooting these little mini guns. The quality of manufacturing on these are excellent. I've never gotten one with any issues, so they are very consistent, at least in my experience, when it comes to quality control and quality assurance. So I went over why they're fun, why they're practical, and a few of the features. A couple of other things I want to point out that I like about these, specifically the pug model, is the rubber grip. Make sure you have a nice solid grip. Even though you can really only get one or two fingers around it, that rubber makes sure it stays put in your hand. And for a single action revolver, the hammer is spurred and very easy to cock. And the Sentinel, much like the Pugs, feature the XS Big Dot, so it's very easy to quickly get this thing on target, so you can light someone up with 22 Magnum if the need arises. I also like how the Pug and the Sentinel models are slab-sided. It helps keep them thin, which of course makes them easier to hide. Before really hopping into the negatives, I just want to say I had no issues with this revolver or any North American arms revolver I have ever owned or my family has owned in the past. These things are very reliable and I've never had any breakages or anything like that. In my experience, these have been great and fun little investments. But the first con that comes to mind is going to be the fact that it's a single action revolver, which requires you cock the hammer for every single shot. So the fact that it's single action can take some getting used to and without practice, the spurred hammer might snag in your pocket. I've never really had it happen, but I look at it and it's definitely within the realm of possibility. I've also noticed that these shorter barrel 22 Magnums will keyhole with certain ammunition. The Hornady critical defense that I was putting through this was keyholing, but I have other 22 Magnum ammunition that does not keyhole through this barrel, so just know that when you're getting the 22 Magnum, that little ammo can be expensive, can be kind of hard to find, and you might need to experiment to find one that does not keyhole. Sometimes these things can shoot very high, especially the 22 Magnums, you're getting that high velocity. So this one does shoot a little high, but that's just a part of knowing your particular revolver and your ammunition so that you know where to aim, you know your holdovers or hold unders. And really the final con to mention is, in my opinion, this is not a substitute for carrying a bigger firearm. In the modern world that we live in, you can carry a 9mm pocket pistol, 10 plus 1 flush fit capacity, with a red dot, and you could even toss a micro weapon light on there. And you know what? It's pretty easy to hide inside the waistband. And on this channel, I've gone over solutions for carrying without belt loops. There are so many ways to carry a full powered nine millimeter with a decent capacity in today's world. So in my opinion, this is not a primary firearm unless you just refuse to even carry something like this. And honestly, I know a lot of old timers out there that are like that. They live in a rural area where they are not likely to run into any kind of violent encounter, and this at least allows them to have some form of lethal force on them if they need it. And of course, this is a really unobtrusive backup gun option. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's look at the North American Arms Mini Revolver. This one, again, is their brand new model for 2024, the Sentinel. Definitely recommend you check this one out. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like, thumbs up button, and of course, make sure you're subscribed. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, and be sure to check the links down below for all the up-to-date ways to help support the channel. Other than that, it was great seeing you guys again, and I'll see you in the next video. I'm Brett, and this was Nightwood Guns. Nightwood out!